Alright, now in this last and final theorems video, we're proving same side interior angles theorem. Now, let's come back up to here. Same side interior angles, I think we originally called them consecutive interior angles. So 4 and 6 right here. Consecutive interior angles, okay, um, like I said before, uh, people call them different names. Um, so we could also call this uh, same side interior angles theorem. Or sorry, not theorem. Inside, same side interior angles. Um, yeah, you can use them interchangeably. So we're going to prove the relationship between them. Now you can obviously tell just by looking at them that they are not going to be congruent. They obviously hold different angles, right? Um, so what we're going to try and prove is that they are actually supplementary. So coming down here. Um, let's make our our uh, our uh, diagram. So here's a uh, two parallel lines. That's what we're going to be given in the theorem. So two parallel lines right here. Um, and we're going to prove. So I'm going to write this as a uh, angle uh, one, uh, two, and then three and four. And then um, four, or sorry, five, six. Um, is that how we had it before? Five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're going to prove that angle four and angle six that these same side interior angles are supplementary. So the theorem states that um, okay. So here's L and here's M cut by T. So L is parallel to M cut by T. Prove. We want to prove that um, angles uh, angles four and angle six are supplementary. So we want to prove that they are supplementary. So let's make our table here. So. got our statements and we have our reasons <coughs> now given that L and M are parallel let's start there okay so we know that angle 6 and angle 3 or angle 2 so angle 6 and angle 2 these are corresponding angles right so we know that they are congruent so angle 6 and angle 2, we know that they are corresponding angles. So angle 6 is congruent to angle 2, which makes them congruent. So we know this by the corresponding angles. By corresponding angles, they are congruent. OK, now we know that angles 2 and 4 are supplementary because they are linear pairs. So angles 2 um, and angles uh, 3 or angle 4 okay, are supplementary. So angles 2 and angle 4 are sup. We know that through the linear pair postulate. Through linear pairs, we know that they are supplementary. So that's these two angles. They are a linear pair, so we know that they are supplementary. <coughs> now, we also know that the measure of angle 2 and measure of angle 3 are equal to each other. Sorry, measure of angle 2 and measure of angle 6. So measure of uh, these two angles are equal to each other. I guess I should write that instead. I'm just going to write these are equal. So the measures are equal because that's the definition of congruent angles.
Okay, that's their definition. <clears throat> okay, now we know that measure of angle 4 plus measure of angle 2. So measure of angle 4 plus measure of angle 2. So these two angles right here, they are equal to 180 degrees. So that's definition of supplementary. And we just we already talked about how they are supplementary. <clears throat> okay. Now we also know that measure of uh, angle one then by using a substitution uh, a substitution method we know that measure of angle four plus measure of angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees, right? We know that because we we use the substitution. So we're substituting measure of angle 2 with measure of angle 6 because right here we know that they are equal. So because they are equal we can swap those out, we can substitute it in. Okay. So there you go, so measure of angle 4 and measure of angle 6 is equal to 180 degrees. So right there, we know that um, angle 4 and angle 6 are supplementary by the definition of supplementary. There you go. That's what we were trying to prove. We're trying to prove that they are indeed supplementary and we did that. So this means that same side interior angles are supplementary. We could by similar argument prove that 3 and 5 are also supplementary. Um, okay, now that does it for all the theorems in this unit. Now that doesn't do, uh, that doesn't end everything for us. We're still going to go through some examples here. So in the next video we will end and finish this uh, unit.